Welcome to Lovers of Jesus Ministries International. The message you are about to hear is from the Lord's anointed Dr. Edward Irobi, the man with the mandate to proclaim the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and to raise an army for the Lord in this end time. Hosea, the book of Hosea chapter 10 verse 12. Hosea chapter 10 verse 12. So to yourselves in righteousness, says the Lord, reap in mercy, break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain righteousness upon you. That's what the Lord wants us to do. He wants us to sow in righteousness so that we can reap in mercy. Every day we need to be petitioning the Lord. Lord, show us mercy in this world. Lord, we don't want to miss the rapture. Lord, show us mercy. We want to be ready at your coming. Lord, any fallow ground, anything that is still unbroken in my life, any habit that I am dwelling on that you don't like, any sin that is besetting me, I lay them at the altar. I confess today that you forgive me, that you make me that child of God you want me to be. And the Lord says, he wants to rain righteousness on us, that we have to seek him. We have to call upon him when he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his path and return to the Lord and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. I, I want to speak to a particular group of people that may get in touch with this uh, message down the road. You may be saying, Edward, how can I be sure to have enough oil in my lamp? I don't understand what it means to become a born-again Christian. Whereas I understand that born-again Christians, they are those that will make it to the kingdom of heaven that have sufficient lamps. You can simply pray a, a short prayer with me. If you are convinced that you need the Lord Jesus to come into your life, into your soul, into your mind, into your spirit, into your entire being as your Lord and personal Savior, you can pray this simple prayer with me. Dear Heavenly Father, I know you love me. I know that you sent the Lord Jesus Christ to die for me. I confess my sins to you today, knowing that I am a sinner. Heavenly Father, forgive me all my sins, the sins I remember and the ones I cannot remember. Have mercy upon me. I call upon you today for mercy. I do not want to be left behind when you'll be coming for your church. Heavenly Father, Wash me by the blood of Jesus. Make me pure. Make me holy. Give me power to become a child of God and fill me with your spirit and help me to shine in this wicked world. Thank you for answering my prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. Beloved, if you pray that prayer, it will be my pleasure to hear from you and for us to continue to pray for you. Shall we pray and conclude our study? Heavenly Father, we give you praise. We thank you for speaking to us about having sufficient oil, having enough oil in our lamps. The Bible says, with man it seems impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. Father, we beckon on you today. We ask for mercy. Lord, we ask you to help us. Anyway, our lamps are going dim. We invoke, oh God, eh, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Eh? We invoke, oh God, eh, your grace upon our lives. Lord Jesus, Give us more oil. Lord Jesus, give us more grace. Huh? Lord Jesus, we come to you for help. Without you, we can do nothing. Today, we reject our sins. Huh? Today, we confess our sins. Huh? We pray that you wake us up from our state of slumbering, our state of sleepiness. Lord, we don't want to sleep in anymore. Lord, we don't want to fall in spiritual slumber anymore. Lord, purify us. Lord, change our lives and make us what you want us to be. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Beloved, thank you for being part of this study today. I know that the Lord has blessed you. Looking forward to meeting with you again at the same time next week. Bye-bye. Give me oil in my lamp.
keep me burning, 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 keep me burning till the break of.